WWE pays $20 million in a lawsuit settlement. Plus, Drew McIntyre report has been debunked. And a major AEW star, we have an injury update on. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. Yesterday, TKO Group Holdings released their final 2023 earnings report and they had their quarterly investors call. We won't go too much into the weeds on the numbers because we know lol lol snooze. <laughs> <laughs> One, oh, come on, it's true. You can find them online if you want to read them. Brandon Thurston breaks them down using colours and shapes, and I love him for that. Uh, one of the key figures in the report was $34.2 million. This is in costs in relation to certain litigation matters, at UFC and WWE, uh, including the impact of $20 million related to the settlement of an antitrust lawsuit. Yeah, this goes back to January 2022, where MLW filed a lawsuit against the WWE, accusing them of of uh, pressuring Vice TV at the streaming uh, platform Tubby to abandon contracts and future plans with MLW. We talked a lot about this at the start of 2022 and uh, there was, because because WWE would do, it was sort of trying to get in with Vice and do work with them, there was a lot of conversation that allegedly they had talked Vice and Tubi out of working with MLW. It was at that point that MLW was on a bit of a, a, a very much forward progression, very much a march and there was allegations made that this was done to sort of stop their momentum by WWE. Uh, it's, they ended up being settled late last year. It was settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. And now we know that amount, $20 million. MLW's laughing, aren't they now? Absolutely. <laughs> think of think of all the sherbet dib dabs you can buy with that. <laughs> Isn't this the whole thing about the, the mon monopolization of the business that apparently Dury claimed they didn't have for many years? Is that the same thing? It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. And I believe it's in this, uh, I believe it's in this law suit that Cultaholic is referenced. An article from Cultaholic <laughs> is randomly referenced in it. So that's nice of them to do that. Thank you. But yeah, 20 million going to MLW as an out-of-court settlement, which which is neither of neither an admission of guilt or an admission of innocence. It's just them going, Look, shut up. Here's some money, go away. Yeah. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how MLW invest that money in, in their programming and beyond going forwards. Probably in some arseholes. <laughs> <laughs> some, maybe some nice people as well, and probably legal fees, because that's the that's that's the them's the breaks. I'm afraid. Uh, other notes from this earning call: uh, a question was asked by one person on the call whether the company would be willing to purchase a large amount of stock from a particular shareholder. Uh, Mark Shapiro very quickly noted that that this probably pertains to Vince McMahon. They say they simply don't know what he plans to do. What does he plan to do? Hopefully, stay away for a bit yeah. until all this sort of thing dies down and then maybe take it from there and maybe not come back. Just the thought. They're allegations, of course. Mm. Just want to put that out there. Also, TKO Group CEO Andrew Schleimer stated they are working on securing a home for Raw after the USA Network deal ends on the, th the 30th of September and it doesn't start on Netflix until the start of 2025. Mm. That's a long period of time to go without television. Uh, Mark Shapiro said that he is confident the show will air during the window of time between those two deals ending and starting. That's a bit of an issue. That they've, probably got, they've got a result because I don't think US say we'll, we'll give them another couple of months unless they really fork out some money for it or get what, it at a bargain. If, the, 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 if Mark Shapiro and people like that are watching right now, if you want to come over to Cultaholic Wrestling and host Raw on here for free, you can have <laughs> the airtime for free on YouTube. It's a huge platform. Come on down, give us a call. Host it in this room. <laughs> be fine. Failing that, I think UK TV Gardens has a free slot after nine o'clock when Ground Force finishes. Um, also, Nick Khan was asked whether the international TV rights deal with Netflix will prevent WWE from developing new brands, in particular the much lauded, then completely forgotten NXT Europe. Uh, Nick Khan says the deal doesn't prevent that from happening, although Netflix would get a first look right for any content producer. They get to say yay or nay if they want to have it on their platform. So global localization is still a thing. It's kind of still a thing. They're, it's, they're saying it is and they're saying it isn't. They're, they're not really committing either way. I think as every year goes past, it seems less likely we're getting an NXT Europe. Europe. And I don't know whether that's for the better or the worse. Probably for the better, just based mm. off the, how the first time went round, you would assume. 
I mean, yeah. Uh, one guy who I asked about NXT Europe and he said he'd be up for anything, and that's Drew McIntyre. Uh, but right now, he doesn't have a sign. He doesn't have anything signed with NXT Europe, and he doesn't have anything signed with WWE. Yeah, it was reported by BWR yesterday that McIntyre had re-signed with WWE. It feels like about a year's past since Drew McIntyre was unhappy with stuff and he went dark on Twitter. Well, well, like, well he finished at Mania. Well, his last match was Mania last year. Yeah, that banger of a triple threat, and then just vanished into the ether. Yeah, so that's still going on. Several of the sources and including Fightful and Peter Insider have confirmed this is not the case. I think Alex McCarthy was on Twitter as well saying, no, this is a, a pack of lies, you dirty buggers. He didn't say it in that mean a sense. <laughs> God love him. <laughs> He has, he has lovely shorts, does Alex McCarthy. I, I, I watched some of his uh, stuff from Elimination Chamber. He's got some lovely khaki shorts. All oh, right, I thought you were going to say like short, like YouTube shorts. Oh, what's what's that time that we're in when I say shorts? Everything's oh, like YouTube videos. Like now, lovely khaki. It's nice one, Alex McCarthy. Down with the kids. That's by the by. Uh, PW Insider writes: In asking WWE sources today, we're told that nothing between Drew and WWE has changed. Everything is work. Every, everyone is working together on the assumption that a new deal will be reached but nothing has been signed and sealed as of today. I, it, they've gone back and forth, like you say, for a long time. I think WWE have made a commitment to go, we've got some storyline stuff in place for you that we really want to do. The stuff with CM Punk has been hilarious. He is on course to becoming the World Heavyweight Champion in April. And he's also the best written character on WWE TV today, I'd suggest. Mm. So the fact that's a thing, Surely he's going to resign. Surely he's going to sign on the dotted line as and when it works for him. Uh, meanwhile, wouldn't it be good though if he won the world title and did the punk thing? And actually did the punk thing? The 2011, yeah. They might, do you know what? They could even lean into it's that. It's what we want to happen. Oh, <laughs> there's a little teaser for nine pitches in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, AEW flavoured news. How's Hangman Page doing? Well, he, he took. He looked like he got hurt last week. I was annoyed coming out of this because we found out on the Colour Holland Wrestling podcast that it was all a storyline. And I was like, well, I was along for the ride. Or so we think. Or so we think. Is there a chance it's not, Tom? Well, Tony Khan tweeted last night, after rumour surfaced of a potential injury to Hangman going into the three-way match for the world title this Sunday on pay-per-view, Hangman Adam Page will address his status live on Dynamite tonight. So we're going to know one way or another what the score is. I think they're going to milk it, right? I think he's going to come out on crutches, talk really sad, and then just smack swerve with a <laughs> with a with a buckeye or you something. have a salmon pink cowboy hat on yeah <laughs> like mark henry but cowboy buckshot i meant not a buckeye before i, before I get cross before i get wrong by that a buckshot he's yeah mate yeah salmon a cowboy hat sad face world's strongest slam. <laughs> i think that's what they will do I can see that, but they're going to address it tonight because there was there's a school of thought that it was a legit injury, and there's a school of thought that says that this is been put in place because there is a chance that Adam Page might not be able to wrestle on Saturday right. for one reason or another. So they've kept it wide open, and they're kind of using a potential real life thing, not a real life thing, as a way for us to watch Dynamite tonight. And when we all talked about it on the internet, Jerry Lynn got very sad. Yeah, <laughs> got very cross with us for not letting stories happen. Sorry, Jerry. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. rightfully so. Sorry, Mr. Lynn. I'm a very part of a very very sorry. <laughs> uh, what else? Is happening on Dynamite E tonight. Chris Jericho will face CMLL's Atlantis Jr. making Jericho's this this Jericho's first match since February the 7th. We need to address the fact that the Jericho Triangle here in Newcastle has grown. Mm. He's now gone along the quayside last weekend when he was here for his Fozzie gig and he's went to Tomahawk Steakhouse, <sighs> which is a good quarter mile it's about a quarter mile yeah, yeah. yeah. from from the weather spoons where the triangle initially originated sorry you go past spoons you go past the riverside you go past slug and lettuce the, slug and lettuce the greg there's a steam. premier in there's a head of steam the law courts. there's a cat cafe <laughs> called cat portino <laughs> before you get to the law courts <laughs> Then you've got a Tomahawk. Yeah. Is there not another restaurant attached to it? Yeah, Rio Steakhouse is Rio up above. Rio Steakhouse is Would up recommend. Above. Wonderful place to go. Tomahawk is the only place that mum and dad Campbell like to go when they come to, oh. to see it. So when, they, when I came up for my birthday, when Alex said, oh, we're going to Tomahawk, I went, I think I know who's going to be waiting there for it's, me when I get my, there. It's my favourite restaurant. It's a lovely restaurant, oh. isn't it? What do you have when you go? Just a massive steak. Me and Kayla yeah. share a, a porterhouse. Oh, oh, nice. Is it a porterhouse? No, it's the Tomahawk. We share it between I us. Say, I, I call it a powerhouse yeah. in that place. It's Fantastic. Ooh, Good anyway. Shout. anyway, Tomahawk, can we have some free steak? Thanks. <laughs>
<laughs> well, Osprey will be on Dynamite tonight He's as well. He's a powerhouse. <laughs> and also Sting is a powerhouse as well. He makes his final Dynamite appearance. Oh, we're going to be talking about the, the farewell of Sting as it happens. Live reactions to AEW Revolution. Plus nine pitches on the channel later today for Revolution. Plus predictions with myself and Fraser Porter. What happened out with Jack the Jobber? And you'll do some WTF moments. No, I won't. It's you been cancelled. Oh, that's a shame. Because nobody watched. Well, few people watched. If you did watch, thank you very much. But not enough people watched again to make it sustainable. They, they, I think the kids call me and my YouTube career currently as washed. <laughs> um, but that's where we find ourselves. And sometimes you've got to face reality. And the reality is I am washed. Once you're back from your wash, <laughs> we'll do live reactions. We'll do what happened at, and of course, the, the news coming out of AEW Revolution. And for the very latest wrestling news throughout the day, you can check out goldaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye. Washed. <laughs>